Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy and I want to get you scrapping and having fun with pretty paper products. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking in Project Lifestyle or pocket scrapbooking using a couple of kits from Kelly Perky and also from the Hip Kit Club. So let's jump into the process. So here I have my photos printed up and stacked up in, in piles at the top of my screen here. And then I'm just actually having a first look at the Kelly Perky kit. This is the kit from August of 2017, which is called Life Lessons Kit. I have the Project Life Kit here, and uh, it includes this really cute stamp set that has a back to school theme, but it also has some pretty uh, generic sayings as well on it. And then this letter sticker set, which reminded me an awful lot of the other letter sticker sets that I have from Kelly Perky. And uh, they're almost, they look to me like they are the same font, but this one is a, just a smidgen smaller, good for project life. And so I'm just familiarizing myself with the contents of the kit. It does have a back to school theme to it and I'm not scrapbooking back to school photos here. So I, um, I'm not going to use all of them. And I'm also having a look through the cards that come in the hip kit for the month of September as well. And so I'm going to use a combination of the Kelly Perky cards and the hip kit cards for this spread. And this is going to be a two page spread and uh, it's going to cover about two weeks of, of my life. So I'm just having a look at the stamp set and familiarizing myself with the phrases on it. I have printed all of my square photos in two by two in the two by two size. I print with my Epson Picture Mate charm at home. And then I have a couple of strange shaped uh, photos here that are different from the two by twos. Uh, this one is printed at two by three. Um, no, it's it's a little bit more than that two by three and a half I think and then these are printed at four by six or about four by six I think one of them is smaller than four like maybe three and a half by six uh, and that's just because it's zoomed in a little bit differently and these two photos are still shots from the video camera that we have that monitors our house and I find that that's a really great way to capture little snapshots of our life it kind of catches us all at v different times I can log into the com into the camera and go back in time and look at what we were doing at supper time or what we were doing at a certain time of day and that's really nice. So I have my other project life spread from last week here just to make sure that I don't duplicate any photos. I wasn't too sure when I stopped last time and when I needed to start for this time. So I have this template which is a Becky Higgins type A layout and that's the that's the pocket page that I use for my project life. And uh, it, of course, if you put these on their side, then it becomes a, a design F, but I usually use design A. So I'm starting by just spreading my photos around the page. And I wanna spread it out so that my large photos are spread around the page and not necessarily all beside one another. And I'm just thinking about how much space is on each of the photos, what colors are in the photos and what stories I wanna tell. I'm looking at these two cards and I don't love cards that have that white strip at the bottom. I find them hard to design around and uh, one of them just isn't going to work for this page anyways. But uh, so I'm, I'm not going to use those cards because I don't care for them quite as much. And uh, I really love the Kelly Perky cards have this really strong color theme this month. It is this coral reddish orange color and a really beautiful vibrant blue and so I'm going to use that as my color scheme for this page and then this wood grain four by six card with the dots on it is from the hip kit club this is another Kelly Perky you can tell the Kelly Perky ones because they have that strong those strong colors in them uh, this is more Kelly Perky cards right here all these ones in my hands are Kelly Perky and yeah, so I'm just doing a little bit of switching and I'm thinking about which photos I just want to kind of put in and the photo tells the story and which photos I have a little bit more journaling to do. So, and I'm thinking about spreading the colors around the page, especially when I'm using such strong colors. I want to spread the red around and I want to spread the blue around. And... I'm just kind of looking for a couple of neutral cards as well. I don't want every single card to have that really bold color scheme. So I'm pulling out some neutrals like that 
black and white polka dot, or I guess it's kind of like a gray and white polka dot. And I often will put two four by six cards in, no, two three by four cards in a four by six pocket page. And so you'll notice that some of my pockets are, they look like they're wrong, but I, I will, you'll see that when it comes up in the process. You'll see what I do to deal with that. I'm picking a card for each photo. So I've spread the photos around and now I pick a card for each photo and, and each pocket basically. And now I'm looking through the hip kit cards. And I like that September card, but I, I'm not going to use it. I really like this fall, this hello fall. And I thought maybe I could cut that out and put it on that coral card. And uh, I like the alarm clock there. And I was thinking maybe I could do like time for television or time for TV. But I don't really like how the photo is covering up the top of the alarm clock. But I'll show you what I do about that when the time comes. So I'm almost finished here. I just need a card and I'm thinking I might cut out that camera and put it on that card instead of the F Hello Fall. I can't quite decide. I really love that camera and I'd like to use it. And so I need a card for right there. So I'm going back. I'm going to look through my cards and try to find something, something that will work. And I'm going to go with this polka dot. It's, it's the lighter version of that same blue that's in the Kelly Perky kit. That card is actually from the, from the uh, hip kit though. I really like how these kits seem to go together even though they weren't really designed to go together. They have some really similar colors in them like the corals and the blues. I think those two colors are really hot for fall this year and so uh, when the nice thing about color trends is that it helps you to span different collections. You know if, if everybody's using that coral color because it's hot right now then that means that you can mix and match your your products from different collections and different companies fairly easily. I have my stamp sets out here and I just grabbed a couple of stamp sets that had that I either knew were designed by Kelly Perky or had a Kelly Perky kind of vibe to them. I wanted to to kind of challenge myself to use more stamping in my project life this time around. So I just picked out, these are some of my all time favorite stamp sets and they're all fairly old. Some of them are really old from about maybe, I don't know, eight years ago um, or even more from old Studio Calico sets. So I do apologize if you hear a little bit of background noise. There's some renovations going on in my basement and uh, I hope that it doesn't sound too distracting and take away from this video. So now that I have the overall layout done, I'm just going to uh, set those templates aside and I just leave the cards and the photos right on them. And then what I do is I sell by sell, I take or pocket by pocket, I guess, I take the cards and photos over to my workspace and scrap it. And then I put it back on my template. And that is my process for project life. So I want these two photos to be uh, overlapping each other. This is my daughter and her friend at a race that was hosted by a school nearby, not her school, but a, but a school nearby. And I'm thinking I might want to do some stamping on this one in particular. And I'm also thinking I want to use those Kelly Perky gray letter stickers that came in the kit to spell out Turkey Trot because that's the name of the run. So I am taking a, the stamp that from the Kelly Perky stamp set from this month that says uh, Life Lessons. And I just, I just stamped it right there on top of that four by six card. And you saw me just glue those two four by six cards down to a, no, two three by four cards glued down to a, uh, just a plain four by six grid card behind it. And th that's just to hold them together while I design it. And also it holds them together in the pocket because these two four by six cards are go, no, these two three by four cards, sorry. Oh my goodness. Can I make this more confusing? Uh, these two two three by four cards are going to go in one four by six pocket. So I spelled out turkey trot with those really cute gray letters. I wish I had more of those letters. They're so cute. And I'm going to use the flare badge that came in the Kelly Perky kit this month. And it's just a cute little pink light bulb. It picks up on the pink in my daughter's shirt. And I'm journaling. And I'll just read the journaling for you if I can pull it over here. 
It says Sophie and Katrina did the turkey trot at Hammond's Plains Consolidated for the third year in a row. It was freezing cold that day, but running kept them warm. And then in brackets, I put not us. <laughs> and I did make a mistake. And uh, when I do that, I just cross over it and keep going. I'm not too worried about my project life being perfect. I really just want to get it documented and have fun decorating it. So I don't, I don't sweat the small little details like that. And now I feel like I want to add something else to this. And I really love this progress is greater than per perfection. What does it say? Yeah, progress is greater than perfection. And so I'm going to put it right in, be in this space between life lessons and turkey trot. It fits perfectly there. But I want to use a red ink and I'm going to have to remove that flare badge so that it will stamp properly. So my Stampin' Up! Dimensional is just being a little bit, it's being a little bit finicky there and not pulling up the way that I'd like it to. So I want to have this stamped sentiment be in the same coral color that is in the kit. My problem is that I don't have a good match to that. I have lots of reds and I have lots of oranges and I do have a coral uh, in my stash by Stampin' Up! But I'm pretty sure that that one is too is too orange, it's not red enough. And so I grabbed this Stampin' Up! ink pad. What is it called again? Uh, it is Abandoned Coral and it's a nice reddish coral. Now the problem with Distress ink is that uh, it doesn't stamp quite as crisply as dye ink and, and, uh, and the other kind of ink. What is it called again? Pigment ink, sorry. <laughs> uh, so although this won't stamp quite as crisply, I really like the color and the color is almost a perfect match to that coral red color that is really prominent in the Kelly Perky kit. So I like that. Then I just added that uh, flare badge back again and called it a day for that card. Now here I am on the next card. This card goes under the one I just did and I'm going to cut apart some of these labels that come in the Kelly Perky kit. And here we go with that nice corally color red. It's just it's just like a slightly orangey color of red. I don't even know if coral is the right name for that color. I think it's more of like maybe a tomato red. And so I'm just messing around with which stamps are going to work on that label. And she's reading a book that's my husband and my daughter reading in my daughter's bed. Uh, and so I stamped the stamp that says on my reading list and then underneath of it I'm going to put the name of the book that she's reading right now which is York and it's about old New York well it's about I think it's about future New York I don't know I've only read bits and pieces of it so I don't know exactly what it's about but it sounds like it's a bit of a mystery and it's set in New York City but it's a strange New York City. I think it's, I think it's in the future. <laughs> so I just used some dimensional adhesive to put that label on and I thought about centering the label and then I decided to put it over to the side so it's hanging off the edge. And then I really love these tiny little clips from Stampin' Up! They are one of my, they are my favorite paper clip. I just love them. And so I wanted to use them. They're perfect for Project Life because they're just so tiny. If you use a regular sized uh, clip in Project Life, it kind of fills up the whole, the whole, uh, the whole photo, which, you know, I, pr I print my photos pretty small. So I like the tiny little clips. I thought about putting something else in the clip as well as, as just the clip in the photo, but I decided not to. You saw me kind of trial out a, um, a sticker there and I decided against it. So now this is actually the little card that comes in the Kelly Perky kit and you didn't even get to see me finish that but you'll see it at the end there. I was super fast. All I did was stapled it onto uh, what ends up being, it'll be like a filler card and it looked like a paint chip there and it had that beautiful corally tomato-y red color. I just love that color. So now this is another card from the Kelly Perky kit and I just did a, I actually took a photo of my TV screen as we were about to rent the School of Rock video and uh, like the movie. And so I'll get my journaling on this one. It says watching a movie together is something both girls enjoy. It was fun to introduce them to Jack Black because I don't think they've ever encountered him in a movie before. So that was kind of fun for them to see his 
antics <laughs> and energy. So I'm using a Stampin' Up! adhesive here today, and uh, I like using the smaller tape runner for Project Life because everything tends to be smaller on my desk, like the little stickers I'm using are smaller, the cards are smaller than full scrapbook paper, and uh, everything is smaller, so I like to not have my big giant ATG on my desk while I'm doing Project Life. So this is a screenshot from my phone of the couch that I ordered from Ikea. And I have some journaling to do on it, and I'm also looking for a stamp. And I have I have a negative story to tell about this coach, but first I want to tell the story. So I had pulled out my bad day stamps from Studio L2E, but uh, I am first going to just talk about the couch and how much I like it. So I put a little A-plus stamp, and that came in the Kelly Perky kit this month. I stamped it in the same, once I figured out that that ink was the right color, I'm going to use it over and over again on this page now. And so the journaling here, I'm just writing it right onto the photo. And it says, after waiting 18 months for Ikea to open, we finally got to sit on a Vimle. Good news, it's as comfy as it is stylish. So we really, we knew that we wanted that coach and we've needed a new coach for quite some time. The coach we have right now is about 15 years old. And it's brown and it's been through two babies and three kittens and elderly cats and all it's had all sorts of things uh, on it over the years. And so um, we were definitely, definitely ready for a new one. But with Ikea coming, we thought rather than order it sight unseen, we might as well wait until Ikea comes and so we can try it out. So we tried, we went to the store, tried it out and it was comfy. I'm looking for a, a stamp that says fave or favorite and I knew I had one somewhere I just couldn't find it so I finally found it there that's what I was shuffling around and I stamped it there and I can't I don't know I don't love this card it's okay um I feel like it I need something be like over to the right of my favorite like maybe a label going off the page would look nice there but I didn't put one I might go back and add a label there just to finish off that card and make it look a little bit better I love this stamp set. This is an old, I believe it's Kelly Perky. It could be Studio Calico. Um, and Kelly Perky was designing for Studio Calico at that time, so it could be both. Um, I really love this stamp set, and I love that car, and I've used that car so many times over the years, so it's kind of nice to, to go back to it after after a long time of not using it. And it's The stamp set says, as you can see there, you, you can go your own way, and I put a car there with the idea that I do my journaling beside the car and into the, into the sky and then under the car as well. And the more I looked at that, the more I thought that that would not really work from a design perspective. I thought that it would look kind of ugly if I did that. So you see, I keep moving my hands as if I'm like practicing and getting ready to journal there. And I change my mind and decide that instead, I think I'll put some a label on here and then I'll put my journaling under the uh, you can go your own way. And that emphasizes just like the big sky there. And I, I this photo shows just how large Ikea is. It's it's at the it's on the top of a really big hill, and it's the size of four football stadiums. I've never been to a football stadium, but I think they're pretty big. And that's a pretty big store, I think, anyways. Uh, so I think that by covering up too much of the sky, it kind of um, I don't know, it changes the design of this, of this, um, I don't know what I was doing there. It looked a little bit like I was dancing. I don't think I was though. Anyhow, um, yeah, I, I like how it looks all over here, like all of my ele design elements over here and then let, allowing the big open sky to be over on the right side. So again, I'm using that same abandoned coral distress ink for my date. I love roller date stamps and library stamps and any kind of roller stamp that's stamped in red. It's one of my favorite looks. So now I'm going with, I put placed my photo right where the, the square is on that journaling card. Only the photo is bigger, so it covers more of the lines, but I really like how that looks. It kind of plays on the design of the card already, which I think is is nice. So I have a story to tell here as well. 
so oh, my husband thinks I'm talking to him. Uh, it says, Sophie is a reluctant reader, but she had to read this chapter book for a school project. She spent two hours in her room reading, then came out with tears running down her face. It's over, she cried. I miss the characters. It melted my heart to see her so engaged in the book. She was sobbing for, like, she was not inconsolable, but she was really, really upset for about 20 minutes. She was so upset. She has never read a chapter book all the way through. Like she's abandoned a whole lot of chapter books. Uh, and she reads things like Diary of a Wimpy Kid that has like a lot of pictures all through it and the dark diaries and those sorts of books. And she reads a whole lot of graphic novels, like a, a really lot of graphic novels. Um, but that was just, it touched my heart to see her so vested in that book. And she she was alone. I actually w had assumed that she had stopped reading because, like I said, she's not much of a reader. And when she went in her room and stayed in there for so long, I just assumed she had stopped reading and was playing. So I, I thought we'd have to finish the book another time because she was about halfway through the book when she went into her room. And it had taken her like a month to get to the halfway point and then she just finished the whole book in one setting <laughs> so you see me there I took that little red and white striped piece I love that it's the back of that cut apart see the cut apart that's up in the top right hand corner of the screen right now the flip side of that is that diagonal red and white stripe and so I'm using that as an accent here and then the blue label is is one of the cut aparts and I just used a, one of those stamps it could be a a Kelly Perky stamp or it could be a Studio Calico stamp that says breakfast. And so here's my first page. It's actually the second page, but it's my first page that I've completed. It, I mean the second page is in, it's the page that will be on the right hand side. And I was uh, live streaming and chatting with my Patreons while I was doing this. So that's why every once in a while I bring a card over to the right and, and hold it up. That's because I'm showing it to my phone. <laughs> So I really like how this page looks and uh, I, I, I think it's going to look really great beside this page. It's not quite balanced when you look at the one page, but then once you add the second page, they, they look quite good together. So I'm just taking a piece of, of foam and an X-Acto knife and cutting around the top part of that alarm clock so that I don't cover it with the photo. I do this a lot in Project Life. Because when you print a photo at two by two, it's it's just the way the cards are designed. It often covers up part of your design. And I don't like that. I'd rather the design be layered over top of the photo. So sorry, I seem like I'm a little bit too zoomed in. There we go. So now I want to spell out TV time, but I would like to do it in red letters instead of gray letters. But I think these reds are too cherry red. Yeah, like see, they're not the right coral color. So I'm going to take the Z just to experiment with. And I grabbed a set of like a piece of, I grabbed an orange chalk ink from Prima. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, I will get the name of that for you because look at how perfect it looks on those red letter stickers. It turns them coral. So the color is uh, Rusty Keys and it's from Prima. And so I took TV time and I'm just going to dab it with that Rusty Keys ink. And that is a chalk ink, which means that it does take a little bit longer to dry. It's similar in consistency to a pigment ink. It dries a little bit faster than a pigment ink, but not much. And now when I put these letters on, they're perfect. They're the perfect color as opposed to being that bright cherry red. They're a nice orangey red, like a tomato red. I decided to scooch the whole title over so that it was right beside the alarm clock, and then I'll put something beside those letters. And I don't want to use my fingers to put them down. That's why I keep kind of pressing on it with the eraser, because I don't want to get orange ink on my fingers, and I'm pretty sure that they're not dry yet. And they weren't because they left orange on my eraser. <laughs> So I want to put something beside TV time that's going to throw off the balance. It's the right color scheme, but it's too big. Uh, that's okay. And I'm thinking I'll just do that because I don't want to fuss too much about it. So, but then 
actually one of the people I was chatting with said you should put a heart there so I had this heart rubber piece in my stash and it's a it's an orangey color of red so I thought that it would look cute I used some mono some Tombow mono multi to hold it down and then we're done with that one so now this is a meme that was posted. There's a uh, there's a thread on my Facebook group, the 27 Mercy Tierra's 27 Day Challenge Facebook group, and they were all trying to make me laugh. Like they were just posting jokes, because in a recent video I said I couldn't remember the last time I laughed. So so, uh, so they were all posting jokes, and this was a fun one, and it was really relevant because we are selling uh, Girl Guide cookies right now, and it's the thin mint ones that we sell in the fall. We sell the sandwich cookies in the spring. I think it's the opposite in the United States because some people were saying that uh, it's not thin mint season for them. So anyhow, I cut off the edge of this other Kelly Perky card because of the color mostly but then as I was putting it on I thought it kind of fits with the joke on the card which because they're thin mints and it looks like a measuring tape like you know trying to be thin I don't know um, so I thought it I thought it fit from a design perspective and it's a bit of a stretch but it kind of fits from a thematic perspective too so yeah and also even just the number line, like just keeping track of the numbers of cookies that you sell and that sort of thing. It fits. We're going to make it fit. And then, of course, that blue. And I, I like how the red and the blue look with the green. Like at first I was thinking this green meme is going to throw off the design of this of this page. But I, I really like how it looks, actually. So now instead of this is just a filler card that I'm not planning to change too much, but I decided to dress it up by adding these corners, uh, these photo corners from the Chamel Glitter Girl collection. And so I want to use those on the outside edges of it. I like that quite a lot, but they're sticky on the back. So I'm thinking I'm going to sacrifice one of my Project Life cards here. I don't think I'm going to use that gingerbread one. It's just not my style. So I'm going to trim it down because adding the photo corners on the edges adds to the width and length of this card. And I want it to be able to fit in the pocket. So I trimmed down the blue uh, filler card and then I adhered it with its photo corners on it uh, to that gingerbread cookie um, card basically just I wanted the white background from the gingerbread cookie card this is a photo of my cat sitting in a box with a bunch of grapefruits around it it's kind of a funny photo <laughs> it's a bit random but she looked cute there in the box and so I took her picture and we have Amazon Prime now, so we get all kinds of things in the mail. We order a lot of things on Amazon Prime that we used to get at like Walmart or the grocery store and that sort of thing. So, all right. So that card was really quick. I just took another one of those diagonal strips and glued it down. And that was about it. And, and, and spelled out the name of the cat with my pen. So here I'm combining the Kelly Perky card is the one with the one, two, three, four, five on it. And then the colorful background although it fits perfectly with the Kelly Perky kits color schemes it's actually from the hip kit club and uh, I really like how these cards coordinate with one another it's really quite nice now I want to just give these photos a little bit more emphasis so I'm messy outlining it just kind of scribbling in a doodly kind of a way around the edges of the of the photos and doing a little dancing there maybe I think I'm talking with my hands so I decided to write like a five point list of journaling so and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to say but what I ended up saying was uh, one Liv found out the SMC rink open today two she wanted to meet up with friends three Sophie also wanted to go four I can't ice skate but watched the fun from the stands Five, so much fun to be back on the ice again. So having the numbers there just allowed me to do my journaling in bullet point like that. And it really makes for easy journaling. So these two cards are going to go together in a four by six pocket. So I will stick them to a Becky Higgins grid card like this just to keep them in place both while I'm designing and while they're in the, in the pocket at the end of, like after I'm finished. 
I'm going to outline these arrows in a really messy way uh, just to give them a little bit more emphasis on the card and to balance off with that contrast that you get with the black and white polka dots on the other side. And I'm really hoping that the Nom 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 stamp from my old stamps that I have pulled out will fit somewhere on that PETA because I really want to use that stamp because it's one of my all time favorite stamps. And so I'm thinking I'm going to spell out fish taco with those gray Kelly Perky letters and hoping, hoping, hoping that Nom 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 is going to fit and it's, it'll fit. It's, it doesn't fit absolutely on the PETA, but you'll be able to see what it says. There you go. I adore that Nom Nom Nom. I thought for a second about putting the Nom 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 right through the very center of the of the photo and I'm just not there yet. I don't think I'm cool enough to stamp right over the photo, like right where the actual image is. I don't know. I think that that looks really, really cool, but I don't know if I can do it. I just can't do it. Maybe next time I'll be daring and stamp right over the photo, like the stuff. I mean, like the stuff in the photo, not just the white space. I'm, I'm cool with stamping on the white space, but I just can't make myself stamp right over the image. But I think it actually, the more I look at it, the more I think nom 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 kind of belongs right on top of that fish taco, like right, right there in the center of the photo. Maybe next time. So I usually don't spend a whole lot of time spacing out my letters on Project Life. They just kind of land where they land and I just leave them. But I wanted this title to span the whole width of the photo. I think it looks better that way. Then I have this stamp from another stamp set that was in the bunch that I showed at the beginning and it says it was delicious. And that is a Kelly Perky stamp from one of her, uh, I think Bon Appetit stamp set. So I am going to cut around this really cute little camera. This is from the Hip Kit Club from their cards, from their Project Life cards. And after I'm finished cutting around it, I'm going to stick it onto the coral card with the polka dots. There we go. I like it like that, just kind of not quite center and over to the side of the polka dots. I like it like that. And I'm thinking about leaving it right as it is, but I want to like, meaning leaving the card, just the card and the camera and that's it. But I wanna put something in the center of that camera lens even though I think that heart there is really cute. And when I put something in the center, it will end up covering up the heart, but I don't really care because I really want something dimensional on this card, especially where it's not going to have anything else. So this button is, this is a corduroy Stampin' Up button and it is exactly the same color as the blue in the per Kelly Perky kit. So it's perfect. I'm using Tombow Mono Multi to glue it down. And for a second, I thought I'd just glue it down. And then I thought, what am I thinking? I always sew through my buttons. So I'm going to sew through my buttons. I already had my thread, my, uh, my needle threaded with black twine. So I just decided to go with black twine mostly because it was already there, but it does. I, I do like the look of black twine in a button. So I'm just going to tie that down and there we go. So you see me thinking as I kind of tap that card around, I'm thinking it feels like it needs something else. So I'm doing something unusual, which is outlining with a ruler. I usually freehand it, but I wanted this one to look really structured. And so I use the ruler to outline. And now I'm just like on the, just impulsively, I, I left a gap there and I thought, I could put like dot dot dots there, which is what I often do. But and then I thought I could put X's there. And then I thought maybe I can find a stamp. But I wasn't really thinking that I'd be able to find a stamp that would fit there perfectly. But then I found this cute, adorable little heart, which was just a little accent piece from one of the other stamp sets. And three of them just fit perfectly in the space that I left. So I was pleased with that. And now here's another shot from of my living room and kitchen from that uh, security camera that we have. And this was the night that we were setting up our brand new television. 
and uh, our television was 15 years old as well. It was like from, it was brand new and bi the big screen TVs were brand, brand, brand new. Um, and so we wanted a bigger TV and it's been kind of like for the past year or so, it randomly kind of just stops working and you can't get it to work. And then if you mess with it enough, it'll turn back on again. And we just wanted to replace it before it got to the point where we were left really wanting to watch something and not being able to because we couldn't get it to work anymore. So we're bad at that. Like we usually wait until things are like beyond, like with my car, I waited until I literally could not drive it anymore before I got a new car. So we thought, let's be smart and buy something, <laughs> replace it before it's on its absolute last leg. So, so yeah, the, we were, um, Scott had wanted this special, I don't know, TV, I don't know the details of it, but, uh, and it went on sale. So we decided to get it. He had been watching it for a while, like watching it as in monitoring it and keeping track of how much it cost and watching lots of reviews and that sort of thing. So he was happy to get it. Oh, it was an expensive month though. I tell you that much. Um, so I'm just adding some labels and some stickers. And I actually, the, that sticker set that you see there over to the left of your screen is a Kelly Perky sticker set that I got quite a long time ago and haven't really used much of. And I was going to use one of the labels from there, but it was just too big. So I went with one of the cut apart labels instead. And I took the um, Let's Stay Home sticker from the bottom of that sticker set. And then I, I stamped Bright Idea, kind of like a bright idea to get the TV replaced before it absolutely conked out. And that's what I'm writing right here. I don't love Bright Idea being stamped there. I, w I wanted to stamp something there, but I think that that stamp was like the wrong size or the wrong shape or just not, not what I really wanted. Um, but I wanted to stamp right where the light is in the photo. I think the lights in those photos provide a really nice place to put something. Uh, so here is what this spread looks like when it's all kind of put together. And at this point, I'm just thinking about what final details I might need to put on this and looking at some of the other items that came in the Project Life Kit from the Hip Kit Club because they include some embellishments. So I'm having a look at those. And then these are freckled fawn epoxy arrows. Oh, I love these. They're so beautiful. And so I thought I would put them in a couple of different places. So I'm just looking around trying to find some places. I think beside life in life lessons would be good, but it doesn't make sense. So I really like it under the car there, uh, the little black one, because it, it kind of fits so nicely there and it's the right color. And then I put one here on the angle that's kind of blends in with the with the blue on the card. Again, that's just a filler card and it's nice to add something with a little bit more texture and interest. And then I put one on the Kelly Perky, I guess, advertising card that comes in the kit that just says, thank you for buying a kit. On the one side, it says, thank you for buying a kit. And then on the other side is that image that you see there. And I don't know if that changes from month to month or if that's just a standard card that you get. Uh, the Kelly Perky kit came with two flare badges and I've only used one of them. So I'm thinking I'd like to use that second one, but I can't really find a place for it. So I'm just going to leave it out. And I think this one is done again. I think the, that card with the couch on it from, from Ikea, if I put a label sticker that goes right to the right of my, of my favorite, I think I would like that card better. Um, here's how these ones look. The first page, the second page. I'm sorry for the glare on the photos. I couldn't get it to photograph properly. So the tops of those cards are a little bit washed out, but you'll see them in the detailed photos that are coming up right now. This spread was really fun to make. I am so loving Project Life. I know I'm only two weeks into it. I hope I keep loving it as the months go by, uh, because it really feels good to be back at at this pro at this project um, and capturing my everyday moments on these cards it's just so much fun and it's it's been so much fun to to break out my older stamps and use them mixed in with some newer stamps I think that that's a really fun way to freshen up older products especially with stamps where you know some of those stamps my favorite ones I've used them again and again and again but that was several years ago and then I kind of took a big long break from them so it's nice to pull them out again and mix them in with some of the 
newer stamps and the new cards and products here. So again, there's my favorite with the blank space over to the right of it, but uh, we'll see if I end up adding that. Thank you so much for watching this process video with me. I hope it wasn't too noisy for you with the construction. Uh, thanks for letting me be a small part of your scrappy day. If you like this video, I'd love to hear from you. Please hit the like button and comment. And I do try to post new content every week to inspire you and get you scrappy. So check out my other videos and have a great scrappy week.